This is not an effort to communicate to those that I should not be a certain city bylaw and neighbors, directly or otherwise. First of all, a really big thank you to friends, family that have helped me overcome the wrongful persecution that I am suffering. It has really been a lifesaver. I must apologize to you that and all supporters as over the past 18 years because the government has injured me so much and in such a way I can't fight back. I have to accept the rules of bullies and criminals over me. I have always said stand up to government bullies not just to ensure not losing our rights but as the only way to honor the sacrifices made by those who fought the great battles of democracy. But at age 56 they have hit me below the belt repeatedly and literally where I live. I am either living as a homeless person currently at Seton House in Toronto for months till the trial or sign a peace bond making legal the terrorist attack on me and empowering the very bullies who lied to me to put me in prison to do it again whenever it amuses them. The reality is that even when you have a video proving that you are the victim of bullies political bias and prejudice of the police and the Crown will ensure the victim will be charged. The legal system in No Deal Peel is so corrupt that even when the video is shown to the Crown, charges are not withdrawn till after a peace bond is signed by the victim. Nothing happens to the attackers. Even trying to reduce the term from one year to six months because of undue family hardship is denied. At what point is obeying the law, I mean, what is the point of obeying the law or even being able to prove it? The fact is, if you can't buy the law or justice in Canada, you're not getting it. I've spent 12 days in prison because the Peel Police wanted me there on false charges for being politically incorrect and one of their critics. The Peel Police saw a chance to do me evil and they could not pass it up. In jail, I was not allowed to call a lawyer, no lawyer's lists or phone book, and otherwise very limited chances to call anyone or have visits. Yes, it is true, in Canada, if they want to make the innocent disappear in jail, they can, and stop people from helping you. There is a long list of things denied, including no access to legal aid, the Ontario Ombudsman, Salvation Army, priest or chaplain at Maplehurst no matter how many times requested, even in writing. There are many reasons for what was and is happening, but due to limited time, presenting all the facts, as well as for obvious reasons, they cannot be done, but will be done in time, if I'm allowed to. At this time, I have to ask for any help I can get from lawyers who would want to help the poor, like myself, trying to make Canada a better place to appeal the peace bond or to reopen the issue of who should be charged and to sue those who attacked me. Who am I? Donald Barber. In short, since 1994 I have been involved in standing up for community rights, our democratic rights, the environment, animal welfare, against government and police. Have been voted in as the head of the Friends of the Cawthra Bush and a ratepayers group have often helped the environment save the Cawthra Bush and its salamanders by having it recognized as a provincially significant wetlands, helped animal rescue groups, given to music schools, and animal care and food banks, rescued monarch butterflies, and for this was called an earth angel by the Toronto Star. Having run in elections against Hazel McCallion and for the Green Party, have posted that Hazel is an unlawful developer as she sat as mayor. A large part of what's going on is to discredit me as Hazel is settling accounts while she still can and Hazel usually gets what she wants. Ontario Supreme Court of Justice John Douglas Cunningham, the commissioner of the, the Mississauga Judicial Inquiry, issued the decision giving the uh, Democratic reporter, me, the longest known independent reporter in uh, Internet in Reporter in Mississauga, media access to the inquiry, a significant historical and legal event regarding citizen journalists and the rights at government inquiries. In general, I am a community champion. However, the lessons learned over and over 
was if you lack money and resources, fighting City Hall is a very big challenge. In the past two years, the answer came by way of recycling. In fact, there were, uh, there were so much resources that you were I was able to give them directly to other people in the community. So Mississauga Community Support was born. It, had, it was many things, a political and environmental statement, protest and experiment. This was so successful for everyone that I was soon drowning in success. I have one of the uh, signs that I put up. Happiness is recycling for the community, plus the uh, web page for anybody who was uh, wanting to see what it was all about. The second picture I had was, uh, what do you see happening on this property? This is what it looks like when one homestead is doing the recycling, sharing for the good of the community, when the community is not. Thought-provoking, and there was a little mirror above the top of it. This caused problems with the neighbors, especially a group of, as far as I know, foreigners who fixed up houses, sell, and go back home, and who have shown an interest in getting our property. The city gave us a cleanup order, and the pro property was being cleared. But there was, but was there someone who out to sabotage our cleanup efforts? Yes, there was. You got oh. it. Oh yeah. That's see that a few more times. You got oh, it. Oh yeah. That's. You got oh, it. Oh yeah. That's. Try hit me repeatedly. You got it. Try hit me repeatedly. You got it. Well, the lady next door suddenly claims that it, the road in front of her house as her property, and the end of our driveway as her property as well. We have lived here since the 1950s. They only a few years. So it is it. So in her own words, as she's kicking the box at me from our end of our own driveway, and this is not the only time that she has made this claim that it is her property. In short, she and others of her group of the same mind have been grabbing things off our driveway or the road and throwing them around, smashing glass all over the place, blocking the road, and even doing the same with city detour signs. That's right. City of Mississauga road signs moved or thrown around. Where are the Piro police, you ask? They appear to be egging her on and hoping for a criminal end for me. This was a real red letter day. This is when the city dropped off the, uh, the two D, uh, road signs and they were taken and by persons other than myself put out in the middle of the road and then uh, stuff off of our driveway was then thrown out in the middle of the road as well, blocking the road. A lawyer told me to record events, and that's what I was doing, and trying to try to put yourself in our shoes and my 82-year-old father's. What would you have done to when this bullying is happening to you or to your family? Over the next month, those who claim to want our proper tea cleaned up would be doing their best to interfere with putting out our garbage. And there is the picture of uh, all the things that we put out for one garbage day. As you can see, there was a substantial amount. And indeed, we would have been able to clean up the property had we not been attacked many times. This one here shows how the uh, persons come around in the middle of the night, throw uh, broken glass all over the roadway, and then they take the city's road signs and they place them underneath the end of my car. First they unlawfully move our yard waste bins to block the driveway. Then they come at me with their fists clenched. Then she goes for my camera as she knows it's collecting evidence. And then she gets in my face, swinging her fist, hitting me. And she hit me going after the camera as well. A ten-year-old can see that I'm being bullied. He is caught in the act of moving the city road signs. Just in case you were thinking there weren't any pictures of this happening. But there are other, uh, there's other evidence to show this happening as well.